Turning now to 12 response at 530 as COVID cases continue to soar in Rhode Island. There's a need now more than ever to donate convalescent plasma. 12 News consumer reporter Gina Marini explains how the Rhode Island Blood Center is trying to fill that need. Gina. The Rhode Island Department of Health reporting nearly a thousand new COVID-19 cases with more than 400 people in the hospital. Now more than ever, there's a need for treatment to help patients suffering from COVID-19. The Rhode Island Blood Center tells me they've been providing convalescent plasma donations to hospitals they serve since the very beginning of the pandemic. We've provided 75,000 units um, from our entire network of blood centers across the country. We received a question to 12 response from Chris, who says he donated blood at the Rhode Island Blood Center and was surprised the center hasn't been conducting antigen testing on blood donations. He asks, shouldn't the health department be looking into this potential source of treatment? Marketing communications manager for the Rhode Island Blood Center, Kara LeBlanc says financial limits prevented them from being able to conduct antibody tests on every donation to find antibodies during a time when case percentage was low. We would have been adding that testing cost to every single donated uh, unit to find a very low positivity rate. But between Rhode Island becoming a COVID hotspot and grant funding, LeBlanc tells me they'll soon be able to conduct antibody testing on all donations given at the Rhode Island Blood Center. When we discover that a donor has the antibodies um, for COVID-19, we will be able to ask them directly to become a convalescent plasma donor. She tells me this will allow them to find donors who already fit the requirements to donate convalescent plasma. Donations are by appointment only. More information can be found on our website, WPRI.com. Gina Marini, 12 News.